What's up, everybody? This is Final Cut. If you guys haven't seen our posts on the channel or the community page yet, this is the place where we're going to be launching uh, basically the behind the scenes, but a little bit of a spinoff. So we're taking the idea of a Final Cut and giving clips and stories and videos their Final Cut because there's a lot of stuff that didn't make it to the video officially. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we don't talk about. We actually film but don't end up putting in the video, uh, stuff like that, other clips bloopers stuff like that that doesn't get to the final cut so we thought we might as well bring it in here and talk about it talk about other stories what's going on uh that kind of thing speaking of a behind the scenes like thing that this is I, I didn't mention this at all so far but this is kind of funny um the original idea of doing this podcast uh came from two people first it was obviously if you guys don't know who it, who it is i mean i don't know how you wouldn't but brewer off road they're doing theirs it's, i think it's off the quad isn't it I think it's something like that. Yeah, off the quad. Yeah, I watched their uh, I watched their one with like Tyrese where they were talking to him. That was kind of funny. I haven't seen that yet. I have to go check it out. But um, it, it's a separate channel. And, and then the the second person that suggests this is our oh god, it, it's it's our two thousand nine hundred or two thousand nine hundred ninety eight subscriber. How do you know that? Uh, just cause uh, th th that's how I introduced myself to him back when we were going from 2K to 3K. I was at this function at the church, and I just kept walking up to people. I was like, "Hey, do you have YouTube? <laughs> Subscribe." <laughs> and, and and they were just like, "Yeah." And I was like, "Do do you think I'm funny?" <laughs> like, "Yeah." No. I was like, cool. So subscribe and check this out. And he ended up being our 2,998th subscriber. Uh, before we hit 3K. That I'm, was... I'm glad you remember that. Yeah. I wouldn't remember anything like that. Landon. Landon, if you're watching this, appreciate you. He actually was the one that helped us record at Camp Coker. Dude came out with a crisp thumbnail. Okay. Yep. Yeah, he's participated in our content before. I got you. Uh, but this was just something that he was like, hey, this would be cool. So I was like, sure, why not? Yeah. Well, we got some topics for you today. Um, this is not going to be a real, I guess, put together podcast. This is just going to kind of be talking, sitting down, stuff we've done today, stuff we're going to look at from the past, that kind of thing. So I say let's get this started officially. We're not endorsed. We're not endorsed. We're not endorsed. We're not endorsed. <laughs> we're not endorsed. But we want if you know us, though. if you know us, you who on every trip, does not matter what trip, GNCC, we could be at Outback. We could be at Carolina Adventure World. We could be at, um, what is another park we've been to? Busco. Busco Beach. We could be anywhere. We Durham? could be riding out here. We're drinking a Yoohoo. It doesn't matter. Yeah, we we go through like two or three cases each week. It's um, it's an addiction. It's bad. It's chocolate milk, bro. Yeah, gotta have it. It is, it is chocolate milk. What was that meme that was going around? Chalky milk? Chalky milk. Gotta have the chalky milk, bro. Chalky milk. Anyway. That's what the pros don't tell you. That's what you need at GNCC. Chalky milk, baby. Chalky milk. <laughs> like, like in typical Wheeler Bros fashion, this was on our to-do list first thing today. And it ended up being our last thing that we did. So you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, my eye, what happened. My eyes probably still bloodshot. Um, <laughs> I'm allergic to our new our new property, our new house. We're out here at the farm, and like, dude, I I'm telling you right now, we were we were training in preparation for the Mountaineer race because this will probably end up either coming out after it, depending upon how long it takes me to edit this or to look at it fully. Yeah. Oh, by the way, speaking of editing, if you want this as a live screen or a live scale thing moving forward, let us know. That'll be cool, like a late night with the Wheeler Bros. Yeah, we'll totally do a live. That'd be fun. Because then once we get into the streaming portion, there's so many other avenues we could we could. So uh, many other things we can do. Yeah. Sorry. Right. Anyway, so reason why it's so dark right now, if you can't tell, the sun's starting to go down. It's, it's what, 7? Yeah, it just, just rolled over 7 o'clock. Uh, we were supposed to do this today at like 3.30. Didn't end up happening, which is okay because it's not that hot. And we don't really have a spot for this dedicated yet. We will. Um, we will. November of this year. We will. Yes. Thank God. Anyway. What we were doing earlier. Shocks. More shocks. More suspension. I have never done this much suspension in my life. Yeah, that's that's a big thing that we that we have been working on for a while. Like dialing in the Raptor. The Raptor has been a hard one. Especially mine. Just because I don't know how to convey information well, I, I whenever I try and talk, it just doesn't come out as English. Yeah, I've gotten to the point with you where I'm just like, just tell me. I don't care how you tell me. You can be, it feel bad. <laughs> just I just need to know. 
and you, sometimes you don't even say anything. You're just like, oh, I don't know. It, it feels fine. It, it's for some reason it's just better to visualize it or to like make sound effects. Yeah, I had to sit there and watch him for like an hour. Yeah, it was rough, especially at like Outback. That that video we did recently. Yeah. Yeah, that. where my camera fell off. That was so funny, dude. Uh, you come pulling up, and that thing was sitting there like. Yeah, I didn't realize it. I didn't realize it fell off until I got there. I was like, "Oh, that ain't good." I didn't even realize it at first. Dad was like, "Dude, his camera fell." I'm like, "What? <laughs> Where did it fall?" Now it is zip tied to my helmet. Yeah, we're gonna have to cut that off before this weekend. <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna be interesting. That's another thing this weekend. So that's kind of how I want to segue into into this topic. Mountaineer, your first race ever was Mountaineer in 2021. Dookie Drift. Let's get a rundown on that. Garbo. Not everybody, probably not everybody's seen that video because that was a long time ago now at this point. Yeah. Um, this was your first race. You mm-hmm. were not properly pre- prepared. You were not in the best health ever. Yeah, coming off of an injury. Yeah, that so, was rough. I didn't even put that on camera at all. Yeah, so... Like, um, we made a TikTok sometime back where it was like the, um, that old audio song where it's talking, the, the, there's a, like an older guy singing, he's talking about, he wants to set the world on fire. It's a, yeah, I don't remember what TikTok it is off the top of my head, but it's, it's a good one. It was a good song, but I was using the 250 to train and funny enough, it was, it Which was, was at a bad the, idea. Yeah, dude, it was a terrible time. We didn't have Nerf bars on it. And, like, practicing on that one where you can essentially just pin the gears as you're going through some of this stuff, terrible idea. Anyway, short story long, I ended up hitting one of the, um, I-, I caught my boot on a rut that was a little bit too deep that I had wallowed out after riding it and riding it and riding it. And then because of that, I ended up dragging my foot underneath the bike, and it just threw me off completely. Like, I went from stationary to being off with my face in the dirt and, like, a gash or a cut on the back of my leg from where it had, like, got me as I was trying to come off, which is why we put Nerf bars on it, you know, for safety and stuff like that. For but, safety, um, and you are way too big to be riding that bike. Yeah, true. Do I look like Grape Ape on that thing? <laughs> but, but, but um, because of it's, that... Insert Mario Kart Donkey Kong. <laughs> but, but because of that, it, it um, I had, like, hyperextended the, uh, the tendons in my knees, like, they had stretched out. So I, I was, like, on a brace and on crutches for, like, the rest of that week. And I had advocated for, like, hey, I don't care. I want to do this. And then I did it, and I shouldn't have because I ended up putting this big, bulky brace on. So a large majority of my race, I had my knee, like, tucked up or, like, extended sitting on the Nerf bars, which was, like, my stability was off and all that junk. And then, obviously, because I had taken a week off for injuries, like, I couldn't really do anything, and it was it was bad going into it. And... And I, I want to add, you didn't have a lot of seat time on the Raptor at that point anyway. This was no. still a new bike, sort of, for us. I mean, you had ridden it, but you hadn't ridden it. That was the one. that We were at the time, we were, we were at the point with that bike that it was just like, don't drive it on the track, ride it in the yard. That's how bad seat, that's how, that's how little seat time I had on it at the time. Yeah, you, so. you were scared of it. And, I mean, t- to be fair, you still are scared of it. I think we're all still scared of it a little bit. But- well... I wouldn't necessarily say, like, scared, scared, but more of, like, a fear, scared. Or, like, not fear, you but... respect it. Res- yeah, respect, yeah. Because, I like, I, I mean, I know I know my capabilities, and I don't want to push it too much, because, you know... I've just gotten very lucky. I've had... How many crashes now? Like, w- only one or two, like, not bad ones, but, like, close calls. I think a large majority of that was at Camp Coker, wasn't a it? A large majority of it was at Camp Coker. I, I think... There was two crashes. There was one that I remember because I I swear I nicked a tree that was like this big around. Like it was nothing. And it just caught my front wheel, ripped me off the handlebar, slowed me down enough to where I flew over the front of the bike. I was like, oh, I'm done. I'm dead. This is my, this is my race. But I ended up. I ended up catching myself and pushing myself back up on the front bumper, which was which was close. And didn't even finish that race. I think we actually had that one on camera. Did, we did. Didn't we turn that into like a, we did. a dumb waste to die? We TikTok? did turn that into a dumb waste to die. <laughs> that was a fun series on the channel. Because I had my wreck on the Suzuki I used. And then the one time I like flipped the Raptor. at, at You've had at more than one dumb waste to die. <laughs> yeah. The, or I think I. Yeah. Dude. 
I, I've had so many instances where I've had four wheels and ended up being on two or one and then just hit something. We just so. need to get you uh we need to get you on a on a motocross track and just train. Yeah, just well, consistently. Or we can be like Sabo now that we've officially mastered four wheels, let's get three. No. <laughs> We have not mastered four. You have not mastered four. I have not mastered. None of us have mastered four. I like his Tri Z series. That's a good one. He just finished that. It was a great video, by the way. If you haven't seen that, go watch the full build video on that Tri Z. That was money. That thing looked awesome. Yeah. Um. Anyway, back to GNCC race. You also had a terrible kill switch. Yeah, dude. That's that, like a jet ski cord. I don't even. Th I wouldn't even call that a jet ski cord because that thing had these the. the lightest magnets i have ever seen ever not to mention the fact that the one time i actually needed to get off of it to move the bike it was still intact until the bike started rolling down a hill and i was like what the frick like yeah that thing would come off if you breathed on it it was it was bad like there was the entire race it was just coming off and and essentially screwing you yeah pretty much so I mean, to cover stuff like like fixing stuff, like we've 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 replaced that, so that's not a problem. And then also we've done a lot of seat time. I mean, I I wish I could have rode a little bit more this week, but I had school and all that stuff. I mean, it's not that big of an ordeal. I mean, I can get by with the seat time I've done right now. I don't think I'm still physically fit enough to be doing this, but it comes with the territory. Like the more time you put into it, you know, it's like anything else in life. You have to invest a lot of time and effort into it and actually see it out and do it. Yeah, so. yeah. That's I've gotten to the point now where it's work, come out here and ride. That's all I've all I've been doing. Some so next I, year I'll be doing that. I want to, I want to go out there and show some. I want to go out there and show face, because coming it'd be in second, time. it'd be your first time out there, yeah. Yep, coming in second at Camp Coker, really aggravated me because I was, I was wanting first bad. At least in the trail riders class, people are saying I should move it to A class, but I can't yet because I'm on a 450. In the works. Yep. In the in works. The, in the works. In the works, baby. Anyway, um, what do you think you can improve upon for this race that's coming up? If we don't get hit by a hurricane. Yeah, that's interesting. Hurricane Lee, please stay in the please stay in the water. Yeah, that yeah, would be interesting. I definitely do think that. All right, so let me be honest. So I'm really not mentally, I'm not as invested in this because I have the Raptor. I mean, it'll be a different story once I'm able, once I'm eligible for points because then there's like a want to. And that's a big thing for me. If I want to do anything productive in this in this life, I want to, I want there to be a want to to do it. Like there, there has to be a reason. Not saying that like I can't do something for like, like for charity for free. Uh, that's, it, it, there's a big difference. I'm just saying, like, if I want, like, if there's something, a goal. You got to have a goal to achieve. Right. So, um, right now, I mean, this upcoming race, my mindset is to do better, obviously. I want to at least get, um, I want to I at least get two laps. Two, I've done, the most I've done is two. And that was that Big Buck 2022. I, 2022, I was pushing three. Um, you've done three, and I haven't yep. done three. I want to get to three, you know. I want to have the endurance. I want to stop as much, and um, you know, mm -hmm. I bet some of the people that <laughs> end up getting behind me wish that I would stop more to get out their way. <laughs> but I would like to do better, and to do that, I want to push. So well, that's my goal. Well, watching your video back here that's, recently, dude, it was horrible. The only thing you can do is is get better from here because you had everything against you in that race, um, and now we've got everything more ironed out, and I think. I think if you get out there and try and you're not scared of every little corner, then I, I think <laughs> I, I think you are I think you can be fast cuz what you showed me big buck that year we both the first year we both raced together mm. when you got behind me or I'm sorry not big buck Camp Coker, Camp Coker yeah. when you got behind me and before we both broke you I couldn't lose you for like until you broke that was like I could not do it and granted I've gotten a lot more seat. I'm not trying to brag, but I've gotten a lot more seat time. I feel like I've gotten faster, but I still think you could be right there behind me. Yeah. Well, I mean, I I also think that was kind of a big big contributor to my downfall here recently. Like after that race, I you your your mentality hasn't been there. No, not at all. 
No, I, I, I dare to say that even like the Carolina Adventure World Race, the one where it was just like all mud that I squeaked by for a second place that technically should have been his, um, I wasn't even there for that either. Like, I, I was. Oh, I was there. I was having a blast, bro. <laughs> but again, I broke. I didn't even break. It was just a loose connection that I literally I couldn't do anything about. It was the neutral switch or the reverse. <laughs> see it. It was the reverse switch on my on the Raptor. The thing that plugs into the sensor to thinks that thinks it's in reverse. It thought it was in reverse the entire race. So it was putting the rev limiter like four thousand RPM. I couldn't. I literally could do nothing. I fouled the plug so bad I wouldn't start. It I think. Was rough. I think my biggest thing is is just a gut check, like a like a a mental checkup, like. Where do I want to be? Where do I need to be? Like a re-evaluation, re-evalu- big time. I think that's where I'm at. That's the biggest thing I can fix is me, which also seems to be the biggest. <laughs> the biggest well, that's problem. the biggest thing we, we all can fix is, is the rider because you're, you're never going to meet your machine's capabilities at the level you, no. we're at right now. I feel like I've gotten close with the old shocks, but I, they still had more in them. It was me. I was scared of the bike. So, it, I mean, it is it is what it is. I think yours is a lot more peppier. Me and Dad were talking about this in our in our Kyle video. I mean, we didn't put it on camera, but we were talking, like, the feel of your bike versus the rest of them. For some reason, it's just like, like, if, if, if mine, brand new, with no engine components in it, is like a four, or is it like a six, it's above... And it's noticeable. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why, because when we tore that down, there was nothing done to it. The only thing done to it is we've had intake and exhaust. And before then, we didn't even have exhaust. And it was still the same. It was still as fast. So we, I, I don't know if, because I haven't seen the inside of that engine. Kyle said there wasn't anything done to it. I don't know. I don't know if it's got a high compression piston in it or what. It almost feels like it does, but it it for being almost bone stock, it's a monster. And it, and we've seen that time and time again at like drag racing and stuff like that. I'm telling you right now, if we can if we can like pick a date moving forward and like go out to Busco, I would love to see you and Tyrese with his with the big three and all that stuff in it. Tyrese Tyrese would still. Would still take my love. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it would be more. It wouldn't be more of like a. Can you compare to him? It'd be more of like. Well, you've you've raced against him on the see Suzuki. Where, see where he's at. Yeah, because even even when I raced against him in the Suzuki, when he gave me a jump, he. I mean, he flew by me, but I was keeping up well. I think. Yeah, it was towards like the end of the track. I mean, not saying that he's not good. Don't don't take that. No, I his bike is his bike is like is bad. Like it, it is built. He's got he's got cams. He's got every like everything. Bro, it, it not everything, but he's he's making a lot more power than we are. It is also so loud too. Riding with him yeah, for the thing. first time, I felt like I got hit by BBs just from the sound wave. Like, dude, it hit like it hits you. Yeah, it's it's loud. That's a nice that's a nice well built machine, well thought out too. I uh, yeah, I agree. But I I would like to race him again on my Raptor because then again I broke at Busco Beach and it wasn't even. It wasn't even the bike. It, it was, was the battery. Brakes. The battery screwed up. It lost a cell. Oh, yeah. And you, f- you fixed the brakes, and then the battery started causing problems. No, the brakes weren't even fixed. No, they weren't? No. Oh, I thought they were work- I thought they were No, fixed. they... The, well, the the front brakes did. The rear brakes never worked until I finally got that new caliper, or the old caliper, just rebuilt. Oh, yeah. True, true, true. But, um, yeah, the battery went out. We tried to... Yeah, it's not in the video, but we bump-started the bike like four times. And it finally just quit. Like, it, it would not start if we bumped it. It wouldn't do anything. And it was overheating, and we're like, what the heck? This is stupid. So we just called it for for that weekend for that bike. That's why I was on the Suzuki for, for all or most of Busco. Yeah, we can talk more about that for a future video or something like that, just to go in depth with that. Because I would love to eventually, once we get everything uh, totalized and fixed, we need to plan doing something with uh, Tyrese again, and then see if we can get him on this. That'd be fun. Yeah, I mean, when we actually get a, a decent setup, not just sitting out here on the farm where you can hear the tractor bush hogging the, gra- the the field over there. At least the cows stopped. That's that's fun. The cows did stop, yes. They were they were moving up a storm earlier. Dude, it sounded like a chainsaw again. <laughs> <laughs>
That was definitely not what it sounded like, but it's it, it did. They, they were, they, it was like spaced out. I'll take your word for it. I mean, not it didn't sound like an actual chainsaw, but like you know, you know, whenever you get in a rhythm of pulling that pull cord, that's what it sounded like. That's the only thing I could reference it to. Um, but yeah, talking about talking about those races and and stuff like that. Um, what was I thinking of? What's the one we always go to at Carolina Adventure World? Cores. Yeah, the cores. cores. But do we need to get back at that? That'd be fun. Yes. Like the um, the MX style stuff. What um So let me ask you this. Which races would you rather do? Would you rather do cores or the GNCC style one that they had or actual GNCC? Well, so here's the thing. I liked doing the the MX stuff, not the not the GNCC style race at can at, at uh Carolina Metro World. Like that one where it was you, me, and that guy on that 450. The I forget his name. Steven? 2019. Yeah, Steven on the on the 2019. Like, that was, I mean, I sucked. But the second one I did better. I wish I wish I had more people to compete against in that. They've, they've added more people to it. I think uh, I think Ryan said last time there was, like, close to uh, close to 10 people. That's so cool. so they're moving up. They're moving up. You'll you'll definitely have to go through the races and then the circuit. But then we'd also have to go out to like Durham, uh, Durham Town, mm-hmm. where they have the other portion of some of that stuff. They you have like a a fast track or something like that that they um do some stuff there. Yeah, I I would like to improve motocross skills, but that's that's not where my head is at. I am not I am not good at that. But just for that question alone, I I would like to go back and do that again. That was a lot, that was a lot of fun. I want to do. I want to redeem myself. Carolina Adventure World, the GNCC track. I wouldn't necessarily. I, I love that track. I wouldn't necessarily say a redemption. I think what you did was really good. It's just you know the bike just wasn't there. Kind of like kind of like how my race was with the pool cord. Like you were there, just the bike wasn't. Oh, I still like. I still launched off like third. Um, yeah, you I was held hanging, with them. I was hanging with with those people. I passed. I think one or two of them. And then as soon as I went through that first mud hole, but and it just, I I had I had no RPM. There was nothing. I I had to sit in second gear the entire race because or second or third, like I couldn't rev it out. There was nothing. I was literally nothing I could do. I was really aggravated. I was so mad. My my race was kind of chalked from the start because as, as soon as we went through that little chicane at the very beginning and then up and then down the hill. I had I had to like remove my goggles because they were so fogged up. Oh, it was bad. And covered in mud that I couldn't see. And whenever I went to take them off, like as we were going down the hill, I reached and pulled, and then my hand slipped because my hands were already covered in mud, and it went right in my freaking eyeball. I didn't know that. So by the time I got to the end of the hill, they were gone. Like I tried to catch them, and like I was literally, I was literally like, I like. There's no way to explain it without. There's no visual way to explain it because we're not recording, recording. But like, like literally, they were like a good 150 yards through the woods. That's probably the best way to explain it. Like, if I was coming around a corner, I'd be seeing them making the next corner over. I was like, dude, I'm not gonna catch them. And then one by one, I kept passing the people that broke. <laughs> yeah, you passed me. You're like, oh my god. I'm like, let it eat. Go. You're in the lead. Four laps. Four laps. And. And I, I never caught the guy in first. That guy had finished like he finished one more lap before me. He was he, he was did fast. five laps. He was fast. So I enjoyed that just because for some reason mud is like I enjoy riding in mud. I don't like being covered in mud. Oh, I love I love racing in mud, but yeah. if we're going for a weekend, I hate it. Yeah, like, like I don't I don't want to be covered in mud the first ride because then any clothes that I take with me to the bathhouse are covered in mud on the way back. Yep, it's so it's frustrating. It's, it's hard to clean up, especially out there with the clay. Yeah, and it gets everywhere in the trailer. Then you have to sleep in it. It's just, it's not fun. Yeah, it feels like, it feels like you're sleeping in sandpaper. Yep. Yep. Um. So. Next topic. Channel. <laughs> what channel? Our channel. New channel? No. Our channel. YouTube channel. Where did it come from? Where did it come from? We've talked about this before on a separate video, but I feel like we can reiterate. We now can that talk we're about at it here. 4K. That was the whole point of this anyway. 4K. 
Um, so yeah, thank you. <laughs> Which are almost, at, I guess technically we're halfway there to four and a half now. Yeah, it's like four point two, four point two eight something. Yeah, I think the last time I looked at it. Um, I try not to, I try not to stare at the subscriber count all the time, just because I don't want to get infatuated with the number. I don't. I quit looking at it like after two point five. Yeah, but like whenever I cut it on, like YouTube Studios, whenever I cut it on, I, every every time I look at it, I'm like. Because I, I also feel bad because this is the powerhouse. He does all the editing, everything. I just grab a camera and record whatever, and sometimes my shots aren't even that good. He makes them look, like, top-notch. Well, stabilization goes a long way. Stabilization, but he has the computer on lock. If, if he's showing me something, he's like, yeah, you just do this and this. And I'm like, huh? What? Well, it, so al it's it also comes with, well, number one, experience, but also number two, like what I'm doing at school. Like that's a large portion of what I'm doing. I'm going to school for graphic design, like doing all the thumbnail stuff and yada yada. So whatever I don't know, they teach, and whatever I do know, they reaffirm. Yeah. Like, so. But like, yeah, I feel bad because I can't really do much on the computer side of things, but I'm, I'm here for, at this point anyway, manual labor and... Like, I, I work on all the stuff. Well, you, you do a large majority of the B-roll. My hands shake way too much. I do I do enjoy doing B-roll. That That is something I enjoy doing. Like, just because of how, how I am, like, like I'm I'm big, obviously, if you didn't know. <laughs> but, I'm like, not. I have big hands, and I take to the, the amount of strength that it goes into trying not to shake is r ridiculous. Like, I don't know how to explain it in a way that it makes sense, but, like, I literally can't hold a camera without it shaking. Like, even if you look at some of the That's stuff that I've taken. Gumball. Yeah, yeah, we have a gumball now. A gumball? Um, <laughs> that was what you said the, we were supposed to call it now, the gumball. We're calling it a gumball? Yeah, you said to call it a gumball. I didn't know I said that. It's a crane four. There's a video supposed to be coming out about that, but I've been bad about editing recently because I've, you know, I'm at school again, so that's just how it is. But, um, but yeah, crane four gumball. The gumball. I'm excited about that thing. It'll be fun. It's, it's definitely useful. You used it at Kyle's. I did, I did. I wanted to test it out to see, like, usability. And, like, within the first 20 minutes, instead of, like, 15, it was uh, my arm, forearms. Oh, I bet your forearms were burning. Yeah. That thing weighs, like, a lot. It's like you're carrying around a small computer. Sorry about that. Camera problems. We're recording outside. We have to change settings as we go. Yeah, dude. Scenery changes all the time. So there's actually a couple different things that happen in the context of making the channel. Um... Dad's motives and our motives were a little bit different. I mean, granted, it's still the same concept, so it's not that big of an ordeal. But the initial getting to that point was a little bit different. Um, Dad want, wanted to do this channel after I introduced the topic to him sometime back. Um, and he is like, this would be a great opportunity for us to continue having friends and family and like record our experiences. And that, that's the point, you know, we're, we're growing our community with you guys, obviously. And then, you know, showing you guys our life, what we're doing. I mean, obviously I wouldn't have expected in two years, we moved from the plot of land that we're at now to where we're at here. Like the bunch of stuff has fallen in the right and the right, right like steps. puzzle pieces for us to get to where we need to be. Like, dude, we're like, I don't know. I don't know if if we didn't have, or if we didn't start this channel. I don't know if we'd be out here like this. Yeah, I doubt it. Like you, you may still be out here, but I don't know if everything would look like it does. The decision probably wouldn't have carried as much weight. No, like, like I mean, obviously we have four wheelers, but like a large portion of like thinking about this property was like a permanent home, and then the other portion was like we need a big enough shop to be able to record this wouldn't exist if it wasn't for us i mean to be sure we dad would have had a decent shop I, I know my dad yeah he needs he needs enough for a boat yeah but then the rest bro he'd have decked it out to the nines but like i highly like we got a camper that we're sleeping in right now until we can get all the stuff finalized for the houses we wouldn't, wouldn't have had that no that's a toy hauler that's used for like towing Stuff that we have. We wouldn't have that big trailer that we used, a large majority of the movement stuff. Dude, that was, like, phenomenal to have in our arsenal to do that. Mm -hmm. Like, I highly doubt that most of the stuff that we have surrounding us right now would I, exist. I probably would have never gotten into ATVs just because it's not something I was never introduced to um, prior. I probably would have gotten more into, like, cars, doing more of that, more of that kind of thing, which I still am, just not as much anymore. 
Speeding cars. We need to go to a drift event sometime soon. Yeah. That'd be fun. RIP Myrtle Beach Speedway. Yeah, tell me about it. Dude, we had the we had the last video there. We did. That was our first and last video at Myrtle Beach Speedway. Now we do Florence Motor Speedway, which, you know. Eh, it's not the same. That's not the same. It doesn't feel the same. No. Um. But, yeah. Like, so, talking about introducing that idea. Um, <laughs> our, you, our discussion was more comical than his. You came to me. And, and jog my memory here, because you, you came to me. Essentially, the basis of the conversation was my dad said that I could get a Raptor if we do, let's start a YouTube channel. Okay. Be because, you know, at that like, time. We, but, like, we still talked about it before that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I wanted to. This is this has been something I've wanted to do since I was, like, seven. And, like, like, like when I started hanging out, I, like, for a whole year when I started hanging out with you for the first time, yeah. I, had, I, I legit had no idea y'all had boilers. I had I had never been in your garage. I had I had only been in your house. I had no idea you were hiding them things in that back corner. Well, see, the problem is, is that whenever you have stuff like that, like four wheelers and pools, those are the two things in 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 South Carolina that I would say are like the biggest contributor to or having boat. friends or or a boat or a boat. So, like, obviously, I I don't want the reason why I have friends to be like just four wheelers, you know. Because I'm not cool, I'm not cool enough without my material piece, man. <laughs> I'm not cool either. Don't worry about it. But like that's always been something that we're like, oh, don't show them that because they might get hurt. Or it was more of fear of people getting hurt than anything. Yeah, which I understand. It's it's that's why I don't let people I don't know ride ride my stuff. Not unless you sign a sign your life away on a piece of paper. You're not we liable. Have, we need to have a waiver out here, I swear. <laughs> Sign up sheet. Yeah. If you participate and you and you get hurt, it's on you, big dog. Which I've got somebody, uh, Carson, who wants to come out here and ride. Dude, he was for our first subscriber ride. That's a blast in the past. He wants to come out here and ride. He, I told him I was. He was asking where I was going the other day. I told him I was coming over here to to train. He's like, Oh, I want to come over one day and, and ride. I'm like, Yeah, you'll have fun, but you won't have fun on that track because you're. <laughs> Your bike will not like it. We we need to we need to get like an act. Well, I'm not gonna take away from our like subscriber ride, but we need to do like an actual subscriber ride. Like yeah. announce it, get it together, get some people going. I think. Well, no, I I can't say that. I I, I don't know. So it's hard to do, especially because we're still small, like really small. Hey, but you to, guys can make a it lot happen. of people. Yeah. Oh yeah. For you sure. guys can make it happen. I most of the stuff that's happened so far has been because of you guys, anyway. Mm -hmm. Like the recommendations on the channel that have gotten us to where we're at right now with certain parts and stuff like that. That's been because of you guys, so that's awesome. Yep. But like, if you know people, let us know. Yeah, like, dude, hit us sure. up. Um, but yeah, you you had brought up you had brought up the idea before, after like after you introduced me to the uh, the foilers, and we have the first clip, um, somewhere. Of when I was riding the Arctic Cat, that was like our first. I would say our first YouTube clip. I think we used it for Instagram, didn't we? That was we our did, first social because we media made, platform. We made an Instagram, and we we're like talking about starting a YouTube channel. We put that on there, and it was just me ripping around an Arctic Cat, like a, a freaking noob. Also, side note: if you can hear the the crickets or whatever going on it's because these microphones are based off of sound so as we speak the noise around us just goes to the microphone yeah it's getting dark yeah um, how's that camera looking by the way it looks good okay we should be good for a little bit anyway yep um but yeah he had int here or he and introduced me to the idea and i was like yeah might as well um not thinking it would really ever go anywhere and it's it's opened a lot more doors for a lot more cool experiences than I thought it we would. We didn't really plan for it to go anywhere, to be honest with you. Like if I if I would have told you, I mean, we did. I mean, that's just based off of growth with expectation, and that's for anything that you do. That that's wise to do for anything, like businesses or personal stuff. Make sure you fill the capacity of what you're doing. I mean, because well, obviously, you guys know that we're we're Christians. That's the biggest concept for me is like make sure you have a big enough vessel for God to fill because He will bless you. That's mm -hmm. it's in the expectation along with it. So, I, I preemptively had thought about and did most of this stuff but i wasn't i wasn't pushing it you know like i wanted it to happen but i wasn't going to force it because the last thing that i want to do as like a content creator is force content because then that seems boring 
Yeah, when we disingenuine. Record, when we record stuff, at least right now anyway, it's just run of the like it, it's just in the moment. Nothing's planned. Literally nothing has been planned since the, like we or since y'all bought this property. I think the most thought out video that we've done so far was the Suzuki video where he replicated the meme from SpongeBob. That was it. And then we did the clip of Duncan in the trash can. Sabo. Yeah, g- giving a shout out to Sabo. I love I love that. That was funny. He posted that on his, his Instagram too. I was like, I'm famous. Bro, bro got yes. up too. Like, his physique, he looks strong. I don't. But I'm bro, not. Bro's vert. <laughs> I, my vert is not what it once was. I am not in high school anymore. <laughs> I cannot dunk the basketball anymore. It is not happening. But I definitely do think, all things considered, that we've grown a lot. Not not only, like, us individuals. But, as individuals. But, but, like, content. Like, we went from a Hero 3 recording in a fishbowl to a couple nines and, like, a really decent camera that you're watching this on. Yeah, like, we've, uh, a lot of money. A lot of money. Do you ever stop for a second and be like, man, if I wouldn't have spent all this money on that, I could have afforded this? Oh, all the time. <laughs> I still do that. I buy something. I'm like, oh, I should have just kept that, because you'll see something else. You're like, oh man, I just spent it on this, and then, it, that, but that's that's just how life is. That there's nothing you can do about that. You're always gonna be like, oh, I want this, but having that self control is is necessary. It, is necessary because, like, if it were up to me, money's not an og or money's not an issue. New 450, I'd be done building the other 450 in the garage. I'd have that Raptor decked out to the nines, but I mean, I've got to save for future if I want a house, rent a place, new cars, all that kind of stuff, because I mean, it's just part of life. Well, that's that's the whole point of trying to make the channel self-sufficient. That's our goal, or it has been our goal for a while, is to make it to where the money that goes into YouTube, all the people that are watching and all that stuff, it goes right back into it. Just because I don't want you guys to think that we're that you're watching videos just for us to pocket cash and then not do anything like we're not making any money off of this. Yeah, like not even remotely close. We couldn't even pay for gas for a week. Like I really want to be fully like community together. Us with you guys. Like that's the goal. I don't want it to be like, yeah, you give me your money, kid. Don't <laughs> see you later. Like I want to do stuff with it, people. I want to get like I want to meet. I want to see. I want to shake hands, show face, yes. stuff like that. You know, yeah. that that's the that's the big goal, long term, long term big goal. Want to do more stuff. Yeah. Want to see more people. Want to do more collabs, dude. We 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 rode with Tyrese. Yeah. That still is crazy. And uh, side note, yeah. <laughs> talking about that the entire time, like from start to finish, like. I so this is funny. We're gonna have to refix the camera, but this is funny. Yeah, I, I didn't know. So he drove up in some Silverado, and I'm like, "Who's that?" And he, he called me stupid because I didn't know what car he drove. I'm like, "I'm," I had no idea. I didn't even know you texted him. That's that's another thing. This guy, so he texted Tyrese, right? Or message or DM'd him on Instagram. He said, "Hey, we're going out to Busco Beach these days, and you should come out." He didn't come out the first day, which was the day he told me, or which was the day he texted me about, but he came out the second day, so I wouldn't have even known regardless. I had no <laughs> idea he t- he DM'd him. He came out, I'm like, who's that? And he's like, you idiot. It's Tyrese. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? And then, yeah, and then you told me, you're like, yeah, he, I DM'd him, and he was supposed to come out, and he said he was coming out today. I'm like, what? So that, that was another thing. Yeah, I'm going to be completely honest with you. The, the whole concept of that as a whole was just on a whim. I just knew that he rode there before, and I was like, you know what? It's my birthday. I'm going to send it out to Hold him. On. And then I felt like an even bigger idiot because my bike broke twice. <laughs> but that's something that didn't end up on camera because I was sitting there trying to take oh pictures of the, of the four-wheelers. That we never used, by the way. I took those pictures, and they were horrible. I was still getting into photography. And then and then he comes pulling up. I was like, oh, my goodness, it's a Blue Raptor. I was like, hey, what does Tyrese drive? He's like, I don't know. I was like, how the frick do you not know? <laughs> like, I was well, so I frustrated. Talking, I thought you were talking about, like, a like a vehicle. I'm like, I don't know. 
because uh, I mean, obviously, I knew he drove a Raptor, but I didn't. Right, right, right. Like I had no idea he was coming, so I didn't like I didn't know what you were asking me. Yeah, like, you were asking me like literal like a car. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, I was, but I didn't, I didn't know at the time. And, I didn't anyway, know either. But I mean, my my favorite part about that whole thing is, is it was just on a whim, and like he showed up. Everything we do is on a whim. Yeah, but like my my favorite part about that is he showed up. Which, yeah, which, by the way, it was like super nice. I really didn't want to be like a geek or like some fangirl. Oh, I told you you were geek. I told him you were geeking out. I was trying my best not to because I wanted to walk up to him and be like, "Dude, I really appreciate that." Like when we were sitting there for like an hour because my bike broke. Yeah, I I told him I'm like you were geeking out, and it was a it was a huge thing for us. Yeah, like that that was it. It's just really interesting as as YouTubers now. To to see other people that are YouTubers have been YouTubers like if like it it be it be the equivalent of like you playing basketball and then the next day you DM Curry and he shows up for your birthday. That is pretty much the equivalent of what happened. So like the entire time I was like, oh my god, we're riding with Tyree. <laughs> I was trying yeah. my best not to freak out, but it was so cool. Yeah. No, I, I I enjoyed it a lot. He's he's a really he's a really genuinely nice person. Oh yeah. And you don't sometimes you don't get that in the YouTube space, which luckily a lot of the like our side, like ATV content creators and like power sports content creators, most of them are extremely nice. Oh, yeah. Um, so I would say so. That's that's a good thing. They're all they're all genuine. Like I mean, we DM people all the time, and they respond like, "Hey man, what's up?" This and like you just start a conversation. Yeah, so just it's cool. Just, just like the short named basis people that we know, like in this area, like obviously Tyrese is in is in like the North Carolina area. Then we have um, Quad Nation. I've talked to him once. I want. I would eventually like to collab with him because he's be he's cool. funny. He's funny. I, <laughs> I mean, I'm not that. I don't like. I'm not a big fan of putting out political stuff online, but like some of his series some of his is, stuff is, <laughs> is kind of funny. Not gonna lie. Um, we, we, we met one wheel seven on one wheel seven, uh, John Suso. We entered his giveaway. We got a shout out on that. That was fun. He entered his giveaway and then won. Dude, I was sitting there at 1 a.m. at Florence Motor Speedway. We were dialing in Travis's car at the time. It was, it was the old black car, the, before he did the, the 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 decal and all that stuff. And it was one o'clock and I was like, Hey, Sabo's stuff is over or not. Yeah. Because you had entered that giveaway for the 400. Or not Sabo. It was um. Or no, I'm sorry. Suso, sorry. Yeah, right. It was the yeah right did initial you, did, wrong. Did man. we enter that? Did we enter that giveaway? I think for Sabo. Did. Yeah. No, we didn't. No, we talked about it, but we didn't. Dude, that'd have been awesome to have that as well. He's another really good content creator that I love watching. It. it he's got the perfect mix of informational and funny. Yes. Like it, it, retention retention for that is amazing. Oh, I'll sit there and watch this two hour long video or his hour and a half long video all day like. It doesn't matter. I will not take a break. But, like, the giveaway for Suso, like, I, I was just nonchalant. Like, I was watching the video at first because I was bored. And my phone was starting to die. I was like, dang, I'm going to skip the end. And I skipped all the way to the end. And he started announcing the winners. And because it, it was for a YFZ 450, a, a, a blue YFZ 450 that he had just done. Just and, built, yeah. Yeah. So, after that, I was like, dude, this is awesome. And then he drawed the first name. I was like, dang, that sucks. And then he draw the second name, and I had entered in as Wheeler Bros. So we would, so so he would say our name. Yeah, he <laughs> said Wheeler Bros. He said, we, we, uh, he, he said, oh, uh, this is this is an insta, it's an Instagram thing." <laughs> I was like, "We're a YouTube channel too." <laughs> that was so funny to me. And he and he was like, "Yep, the the, the Wheeler Brothers." I was like, "Yes, <laughs> we we got it, we did it." <laughs> But for second, for second in a giveaway, that's pretty. That's pretty good. Yeah, runner up. I mean, I've only been second one other thing after that, and it still felt just as good. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we went we went way off topic there. Who else do we have? There's there's the, well, there was the Southwest Florida crew. I don't know if they're still a channel. They're or not, not making content anymore. That sucks. I really like them as well. I wanted to I wanted to ride with them at a Croom Croom in Florida. Mm-hmm. Um. Who else? Who else is? Well, obviously, there's the the big names. They're like Pete and then Michael Sabo. Obviously, those two are like the the pinnacle of content. Um, and then Brewer, Brewer, dude. If you haven't watched his videos, he is lying. Brewer can ride for dude, sure. 
so good at riding. For sure. Like, I mean, he's the reason why I wanted to buy a, a Honda, a 450 Honda. That and Ian from uh, Square One Speed. I watched his, I watched his, I actually, I actually commented on his post today talking about, there was an injury that happened. I, I did. I, video. I seen that. I was, you were at work. Yeah. And I was out there digging holes for plumbing. Yeah. And I told your dad, I was like, or no, because I, I thought you were at school. I told your dad, I was like, well, Will's doing a lot of school work because I just kept seeing, <laughs> seeing comments back and forth. And then he's like, he's at work. I'm like, oh, even better. We're going to have to adjust the camera again. Yeah, I know. Um, but, like, I watched his entire Nomad build series, the one that he was using for the, um, for the, it, it was like a 500-mile track thing. Like, if, if GNC, if GNCC on steroids. Yeah, out in Las, Las Vegas. Yeah, I watched the full thing about it. Dude, his build is phenomenal. Like, oh, yeah. I I need to finish watching that live stream that he recommended me watching, um, just so I can get the update on all those people if For they're sure. doing good or not. For sure. But yeah. Um. So we're fully adjusted on the brightness. So let's go. I say to end this podcast off. Let's talk about moving out here. How has it been? How, we'll get into other stuff right. in another podcast. But how has it been for y'all at least? Because I've seen. A lot of it, but not all of it. How has it been moving out here um, and living in a camper and seeing seeing the stuff that you have planned on doing actually finally starting to get built? It's crazy, dude. Like, all right, so we we originally lived on, I would say, about maybe including some of the property that we had that we rented out to people, maybe about five acres. Mm -mm, maybe. Not even. It may you're, be less. You were about one and a half acres. Our that's our track was on one and a half. So then I'm sorry, you were about you were about two and a half, three. Yeah, yeah, something like that. It was really small, and then now we're out here to like twenty four. I want to say something like that. Twenty four. Twenty. Yeah, I want to say twenty four. Twenty four or twenty three, and like a lot more space. We have so much space. There's there's we we haven't even thought about space for some of this stuff. And, yeah. dude, we're going to have a decent track and all this stuff. But, like, the moving portion, the boxes and losing stuff and trying to find stuff, like, I'm pretty sure I lost more stuff than I than I moved. Which is honestly a good thing because... Yeah, I had a lot of stuff. You did have a lot of stuff. I, I don't know why I had that much stuff. I don't really need it. But the adjustment from going into having my own space to going into a room that's... You're with everybody. A third of my own space. Like, dude, it's a 40-foot, a 44-foot camper. But, like... When you put four adult esque style, like adult adult size people in it, like I got my mom, I got my dad, you know, Gur, and then there's Gracie, the chick who flipped the two fifty. Gracie, I have to throw that in there. I have to throw that in there, just cause plug. <laughs> um, um, but like all four of us all together in the camper, plus two dogs and like seven pound dogs, I would say seven ten. They are well, definitely more than seven pounds. Harley might be seven now. No, they are not seven. That He's is, getting smaller. They are, they are, they are over twenty pounds. Uh, yeah, it, 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 it's up there. It's up there. Your, 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 my cat weighs more than seven pounds. Will. Well, my cat, my cat weighs more than seven pounds. I'm just basing it off what I can curl. So you, you can curl your dogs. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. So I don't know. Um, I don't know. I thought it was less. Anyway, just from from what I've been seeing out here, moving into that sucked. Moving, yeah, moving out here. Helping y'all, that was definitely an experience. It was, it was fun, but it, it sucked just royally, just from the small amount of time that I had to get over here and help y'all, which I felt bad because I said I was gonna help a lot more than I did, but I, I hey, had to work. things happen. Life is difficult. You just have to do what you can. Yeah. So I've been making it up out here digging holes. Um, yeah, because we're putting in plumbing for a pool house, which is gonna end up being my not space. Even, it's not even a pool house. It's just a house. So there's gonna be a pool there eventually. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But seeing well, everything out here and how God has blessed y'all with this stuff. Oh, yeah. We definitely wouldn't be where we're at without that. Nah. Without him. Because, like, again, there's a lot of stuff that's gone wrong that we have not put on camera. And just for, just for you know, not trying to dog people, we probably won't put it on camera. But, like, a lot of stuff has not gone our way at all. No. Not, not in the slightest. And this was supposed to be done by now. Now, every like houses were supposed to be built by now. 
like, dude, we packed up everything and had stuff moving in February. We should have had the foundation, the septic tank, the garage and everything done. And then we, I would have been in my house by now and we would have, we would be working on the big house that's going to be shared between my parents uh, and they, my dad's parents and my sister. They're going to yep. be sharing that. Um, um, but so. it's, it's definitely been, it's definitely been interesting because y'all, I, I know y'all have been out here not slaving away but y'all been out here working a lot and every day i come out here something else has been done so i know y'all are doing it's been like a kick in the teeth that's that's the best way to explain it but it's a it's a good kick in the teeth it's 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 a good learning experience you're things learning. happen and re restart you're yeah. learning you're learning a lot this every time i come out here though i i think to myself i'm like wow this is i wish i had this plot of land like this is this is a spot to be in I mean, dude, you're you're welcome to be here as long as you want to. I mean, that's not something to worry about. But like, but you get what I mean. Yeah, yeah. It's nice to own something like this. Yeah. So I mean, not everyone can be like Brewer and have like a freaking mountain chain in his which, back. Which he do hill climbs. But talking about that too, he worked for that. Yeah. Um, yeah, dude. I had like his full life story on uh, on Instagram talking which, to him. Yeah, dude, which is really nice. Yeah, which we won't get into just because I don't know how much personal stuff. He would want to share to mm -mm. the world, but no, no, he'd have to be sitting in the seat next to us talking about it for us to want to do that. Yeah. Privacy is a big thing for us. We we don't want to give out people's no. stuff. Um, but yeah, I think just just to because we'll we'll do we'll do dedicated talks about every everything. Just give us you guys give us topics. We'll talk about them. We'll come up with topics on our own. Um, yeah, because just because the basis is giving stuff a final cut doesn't mean we have to just use it for that. Obviously, yeah, we this, can talk and this. You know, this podcast is this is more of a broad spectrum. Just kind of get everything rolling. That's just the basis to which we have the name. Yeah, in which, I mean, we're at an hour now, so I think it's getting dark. Camera's getting camera's fully maxed out on brightness. I think we should call it here for tonight. Oh no, I agree. So I, I think that was a good first podcast. What you think? Oh yeah, definitely. Yep. It so, probably won't be a full hour when everything's said and done with editing wise, because I'll probably do a once through. Just, just to yeah, fix just stuff. just edit edit the bloopers and stuff out, but yeah, or not not bloopers, but like at times we had to adjust the camera or whatever. But yeah, it's anyway, a we're talking, but yeah, yeah. Anyway, I think we'll call it there. Um, let us know what you guys want to see on the next podcast. Let us know if there's anyone you want to see on the podcast eventually. Sure, for sure. Um, that'll probably be later on when we actually get a space for this, but. We're yeah. still open to ideas. I'm not going to ask someone to sit in a lawn chair and talk to us for like an hour. <laughs> no. Um, anyway, so I think we'll uh, we'll say that and we'll end this off. Uh, so this will be the final cut.